What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and today I want to do a review of the Vigo Garden modular uh, raised bed that they sell on their websites. Um, in my previous place that uh, I stayed, I actually created my own raised bed garden and I built it myself out of um, some 2 by 8 planks and some cylinder blocks and things of that nature. and. Uh, when I moved, I didn't take all of that with me. It would just been too much to dismantle. So basically I researched online and um, and found uh, a, a company that sells some really uh, good quality raised metal beds uh, for creating your own garden. And the company is called Vigo Garden. There are a couple of other videos out there that show, um, that show these products off. And the cool thing about Vito, Vigo Garden is that they have a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes. So if you want to create your own garden, they have round, they have rectangle, they have oval, they have, and, and well, they have a lot, but you can also create your own um, out of the uh, out of the different different beds that they actually sell. So for example, I bought the 10 and one raised garden bed and out of that 10 and 1 there's 10 different configurations that I can create with this um, to make it any shape that I want. The thing is though is of course when you spend this kind of money on these things uh, I, I will say they're not that cheap um, but they are high quality they're supposed to not rust and and supposed to last over 20 plus years so uh, no chemicals and things like that in there so um, that's something that I was kind of looking for, but you can see all of the configurations that you can actually create create with the 10 in one modular one. Now there's a nine in one, I think it's a six in one, and there's, there's other options out there, but the 10 in one, you can create 10 different options. Um, and so with these configurations, depending on how much space you have in your backyard or your porch or your patio or whatever, that's going to pretty much determine which one you want to go with. So I could make this as large as I think the largest size is six by six, um, which actually ends up being, I think, 1.9 cubic yards or 51 cubic feet. But it take that would take up too much space in my backyard. My backyard isn't really that big. So I am going with the number one configuration, which is only 34 cubic feet. But it still uses all the pieces, but it's actually like the longer version of the garden bed instead of the actual perfect square or rectangle or things of that nature. So um, that's the one that I'm going to build for you today. Now, I will say this. This thing takes more time to build than you would think. I thought that when I opened the box, OK, I could probably put this together in about 30 minutes. It probably took me for the first bed that I built about two hours. Um, but that's because I was messing up. I put the wrong sheets of, of metal together. I had to go back and undo it and then redo it. And I did that multiple times. I made a lot of mistakes, just careless mistakes when putting it together. But now that I've built my first one, I know what to look for. So this one should really only take me 30 minutes to actually build. And I'm going to show you something that's that's probably the biggest headache when you open these things. And that's this. So this is actually just one sheet of it. And you got to be careful when you open this up because these pieces have very sharp edges on some of them and you can cut your hand pretty easily if not careful. But what they've done is they put a film of plastic on both sides of all of the metal sheets to protect it when shipping. But the problem with that is it takes forever to get this plastic film off because it comes in, what, 12 pieces, I believe? Yeah, it comes in 12 pieces. And you have to literally try to find the plastic to even be able to take it off, which within itself takes time. And I'm just going to show you like, how this actually looks. I mean, and it's stuck on there tight. So it's, it just takes a while to actually peel this off. But you definitely want to make sure you get it all off before you, you know, put your dirt in and things of that nature. So all right, that's one side of it. Then I have to get the other side. I can find a piece to actually pull. 
this is time consuming. To do all 12 pieces is probably going to take you about 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Seriously. Seems like they just could have came up with an easier way to package it. And then once you do the front and back, you have to do the sides. And the sides are tricky as well because they don't peel off always as easy as that one just did. But sometimes the sides can give you a headache as well. Okay. All right, so that looks good. Looks like all the plastic's off this one. But again, there's 12 of these pieces. And so I'll show you real quick how all of this looks and how to put it together. So here's all the plastic wrapping. Once you take it off all 12 pieces, you'll see below, these are the corners. So you get four of the corners and then you get eight of the straightaway pieces, the sidings. It comes with the rubber to put on the top for the actual um, lining. And then it comes with the poles used to balance it um, as well. And that's pretty much all that's in the box. The box is pretty small, but it's, so it's all kind of compact in there. So now I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick um, what this looks like, the finished product. 
so I've already this is the first one that I completed you can already see I've already planted some uh, peppers and tomatoes and blackberries and raspberries I got strawberries in there cucumbers and I think a few carrots I'm gonna try to grow as well so um, this is how it looks finished product I got the olive green color they also come in white uh, it takes up a lot of soil I think probably about it's probably gonna take you about 20 cubic feet of soil if you design if you put it in this layout um, it'll take about 20 cubic feet of soil if you use this particular uh, design that I built um, and that's also with about hmm, how much peat moss I think I put in about four maybe uh, four to five cubic feet of peat moss I mixed with it and uh, and yeah so they look good you know overall I think this will definitely stand the test of time um, but just wanted to do a quick review of this and uh, I'll put the links in the in the description and uh, yeah I'll, I'll give you updates for the garden and for the actual bed itself all right hope you enjoyed hope you guys are being safe check you in the next video peace